Oh, another slow week to be honest guys. I've um, I've ripped up the potty, the uh, weekly vlog and the AFL Evolution career mode video. <laughs> and I'm tapping out for the week to be honest. Um, yeah, I've, I think I might write some music from now on for the rest of the day. I've got to do a podcast around 7pm um, for some lads. And um, yeah, I might write some music or... Think about playing Evo, I'm not sure. It's um I'm in a weird spot where I don't feel very productive and I don't feel like being productive. Like I don't feel inspired to pull myself out of this uh this flat little patch. But um doing this, you know, doing YouTube a long time, there's definitely been patches before where I find like uploading for a month is hard and I still get the video like some videos out, but it's not as easy as I, I usually find it, and then sometimes I can go two months without blinking and, you know, up videos have come out the wazoo. So you just got to sort of ride the highs and lows. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with, you know, for a bloke who's not in inspired and doesn't feel like he's getting a lot of stuff done, I'm pretty happy with the three videos I've got out this week. But um, yeah, but I've been grinding on TikTok, so <laughs> at least I've been doing something. Guys, the latest The 1935 song has come out and it is a nut slapper. Oh, it is such a tune. It's called If You're Too Shy Then Let Me Know. And um, yeah, I've been a bit flat the last few weeks, to be honest. Um, I think everyone's sort of going through those dips and dives, but yeah, I don't know. No footy really flattered, flattened me out um, a couple of weeks ago, but <laughs> it sounds stupid. I woke up, heard this song, and it just got me so pumped. I got out of bed because I had to run some errands around nine o'clock in the morning, so I was up early-ish for me. Um, the sun was bloody shining and this song came on and I got so inspired that I filmed and I haven't filmed in a, you know, a few weeks to be honest so um, I just feel like as dumb as it sounds, it's probably a bit cliche but this song has picked me up. <laughs> it's quite early for me, I got up at 8 this morning, went for a bit of a jog and by jog I mean, you know, kept myself from collapsing for about 500 meters but um yeah i'm up early i don't know i've um i'm trying to get rid of the flat mode i was quite flat for a couple of weeks there just because when you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel with uh old covid 19 uh you can go one of two ways you can go quite inspirational and um pick yourself up and don't let it affect you and seize the day and <laughs> dot the i's and cross the t's and fly the flag and get yourself up and about or you can do what most people would do and throw the bloody towel in and play AFL Evolution for two weeks and not upload that much so um, that's all changing seizing the day today got up went for a bit of a jog I'm not sure I can call it a jog but I did go for a jog and um, yeah showered up it's the first time I've been out out of bed by about eight o'clock in a long time so now gonna go to Macca's, grab a cappuccino, a cappa, and um, yeah, crack on with a bit of work. But how could you not get up and about when this song's playing? I don't mind if I get demonetized, it's worth it for this song. This is up there with one of the all-time great tunes I've ever heard. I think most of you guys would know that I frothed the 1975, but you know, usually I froth their songs because it hits me in the feels. It hits me in the, um, yeah, it makes me feel a bit sad. <laughs> a bit, well, not sad, but it's, you know, quite relatable. Um, and, you know, it makes me feel a little bit, yeah, a little bit emotional. Well, not emotional, I don't know what I'm saying. But this song gives me, like, euphoria. I can't explain it. Just set the room up for the podcast and just heated up some pasta, which looks terrible, but it tastes great. And also got a second cappuccino because I'm a reckless man and you all know it. I mean, McDonald, talk about cinema masterclass. This is, um, that's framing at its finest. I could have put that camera anywhere else. I think this time last week I was waking up and, um, Waking up at 1 p.m. sort of stuff, but I'm bouncing back and we won't let this ISO define us <laughs> but um 
I'm just about to hop on uh, Zoom and have a bit of a chat with some kids from uh, CineFM. Uh, they want to uh, interview me or have a chat, which will be fun. I used to do CineFM back in the day. I don't think I did the school program, which is what they're doing, but uh, that's where I met Connor Rogers, was at CineFM, which is the Student Youth Network. It's where Hamish and Andy started on radio. Um, so yeah, going to have a chat. I've done a few of these in the last couple of weeks. I, um, I've done a couple of pods and a couple of interview type chats. So uh, yeah, it's been fun. It's been, yeah, really good. So just about to hop on Zoom for the first time. It's my Zoom debut. And then, uh, and then yeah, after this, I think the Cookson Mobile is going to roll around. And um, we've got to film some more AFL Evo. I don't even have my episode for tomorrow. <clears throat> and then we're going to do a little bit of a video with Dylan Jamo. Jamo and Deal <clears throat> from WA. So really looking forward to it. Should be a pretty productive day. And then I probably should see my girlfriend later on as well. <laughs> Wild and woolly weather outside, pissing down. Welcome, mate. Just filming some Evo. About to film with Jamo and Dill. The world's greatest quiz. And Drews. <laughs> Drewsy. The WA boys want a piece. They want a piece of the pie on a quiz. Yes, they do. Fuck those sausage rolls, man. Yeah, we'll wait the sausage rolls and then we'll, um, Smack him in the quiz. Naughty. The sausage roll can is healthy eating. Pastry. Wouldn't have thought so. Don't think it's great. But yeah. because it's, you know, dish on a platter from me, from you. It's yeah. Right. Even though it's well, it'd not. be rude of you to not have I'm trying to be really strict, but. Want to raise a pause? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to raise a pause. I've been good this week since. Have you? Since Canada? Yeah. Yeah, I've not eaten anything bad. That's good. Um. I've been getting up at seven every day. Six. Six. Seven's for slackers. I get up at eight thirty. Yeah, no, that's that's not bad. Yeah, six. Still six, six every day. Huh? Fair play. Mm. Um, yeah, let's wait. Couldn't these. get to sleep last night, so I went to bed, got up at six, went for a run, and then came back home and fell asleep for another two hours. Decent. Not bad. It's gonna be hard going for a run the next few days. It's pissing down. It's cold. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind a bit of a run in the way. Just a bit Rocky Balboa. <laughs> <laughs> Should run into the road. Guys, it is freezing. If I had to estimate, I'd say it's minus 17 degrees. I'm not saying my estimation would be correct. I'm just saying that's about the ballpark of what I'm feeling. But um, I'm getting a haircut. You know when you... Uh, <laughs> You know when you justify your laziness of not getting a haircut by saying that it's in transition and you're doing a new do? That's what I was like for a couple of weeks. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna let it go long, I'm gonna bloody slick it back, and it's a new do. So no one say I've got a shit haircut and that I need to get it cut because it's in transition. And then I just looked at myself and thought, I'm an absolute muppet and I need to get half this chopped off. So we're gonna go get a haircut, and then I've been working on a new song. So we've already got four or five songs for the EP, but I just keep fiddling around on GarageBand and I've got something that I absolutely froth and a concept that I froth. So potentially a sixth, the seventh song on the EP, um, which means we've either got a good four song EP because there's been seven songs and we've cut it down to four, or we just go a bit, I don't know. <laughs> semi-album mode but that I think you know let's walk before we can run folks but anyway I might play you a little bit of it later um, of the instrumental that I made it's really dark but I don't know it's like sad happy it's like it makes me feel sad and happy and then I've got a good like footy concept around it so anyway um, yeah let's get on the road let's chop the hair off and um, Friday Arvo let's uh, you know let's let's dominate this day let's let's win the day we'll win the day folks come on guys hey this song that I made last night if it doesn't make the EP I might just release it as a song because I like it but yeah I've already got a really good footy concept but I just want to get your thoughts on the instrumental I'll, I don't know I just love making music anyway this is what I got I love making those atmospheric like sparkly noises in the background Then I got a piano, played it, like on GarageBand, and then just quantized it so it was like looping really beautifully. And then there's this like 
foreign instrument. It's like not a guitar, but that's what's making that big bang. And I added more guitars over the top and got this. So, um, yeah, that's what I was working on last night. Flicked it to Jake and said, does this make the EP? I think the concept's probably good enough. Um, and yeah, I've already got like half the lyrics for it. Um, but that's what I was up to at 3am last night. <laughs> Oh, when the producer of the EP starts <laughs> reacting like this, you know you're in good touch. And we'll bring it home. Oh, what a song. What a song. Alright guys, that's it for another weekly vlog. I appreciate everyone who tuned in. I appreciate everyone getting around the videos. Podcast tomorrow, AFL Evolution on Thursday. I will be streaming soon. I think I'm going to be streaming soon. Um, I want to stream every couple of nights. But also, um, that song, in the middle of COVID-19, do we release football music? Or do we wait till footy season's back? And I don't want you guys to answer as in like, we just want to hear the song, you know, release it. I want you guys to answer in terms of if you were a business person, <laughs> do we release the song now or do we wait a little bit? Let me know. But anyway, guys, I appreciate the support and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.